Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. From my thumbnail, you can easily understand that today I have tried to create the look which Sara Ali Khan wore in the Maybelline ad. So without wasting any time, let's get started. At first, I am taking the color bar primer and applying it all over my face to create a smooth base. After that, I am using the Kryolan Orange Corrector to cancel out the darkness around my mouth. Then I am applying the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer at my eyelids to prime my lids. Set the concealer. I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder here. In this picture, I can see that her face is quite matte here. So I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige and applying it all over my face. Of a damp beauty sponge, I am blending it out properly. This foundation has medium coverage and gives a nice matte finish. Now I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light or Medium Beige at the center portion of my face. As this shade is lighter than my skin tone, it will give me a nice highlighted effect. I am using a damp beauty sponge to blend out the concealer at my chin and forehead. I will blend the concealer under my eyes and nose with the help of a flat brush to get maximum coverage. As you can see, her face is well contoured here. So I will be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa at the hollow portion of my cheeks, at the side of my nose and at the upper portion of my forehead. Then with the help of a damp beauty sponge, I will blend out everything properly. I am taking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and applying it just under my eyes to set the concealer. Now I am applying this bronzing powder from the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I will also apply the bronzer along my jawline. Now I am applying the soft pink blush from the brand Sugar. This is in the shade Peach Peak. 
This is a matte blush. I think for her eyes, she went for smoky eyes. To create this, at first I am applying the face's magnet eyes kajal at my eyelids. I am drawing a thick line here. After that, I am smudging it with a brush. It will act as the base of the eyeshadow. Now I am applying this matte dark brown eyeshadow from the brand Miss Clear and packing it all over my eyelid. Then with the help of a blending brush, I will soften out the edges. After that, I am taking this matte terracotta brown eyeshadow from the same brand and I am using this as the transition shade. everything properly I am applying the black kajal again to intensify the darkness along the upper lash line again with the brush I am smudging it Using the black kajal at my lower waterline. I am taking the dark brown eyeshadow and applying it along my lower lash line. After brushing my brows, I am using the Miss Clear Eyebrow Pencil in the shade dark brown to give my brows the fuller effect like her. Spoolie brush will help to get the natural looking brows. Now I am using this clear mascara from the brand Miss Clear to give my brows a nice feathery effect. After curling my lashes, I am using a thick coat of Maybelline Volume Express mascara at my upper and lower lashes. I am using this highlighter from the brand Wet n Wild in the shade Precious Petal and applying it at the inner corner of my eyes with my fingers. For my lips, at first I was applying the Maybelline Colored Sensational Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soft Wine. She is featured in the ad of this shade but this shade was looking like cherry red on my lips. So I mixed two or three shades of lipsticks from the other brands and tried to achieve the same color. I will list down all the products I am using in this video in the description box below. Now I am using this red lip liner from the brand Wet n Wild to outline my lips. Always try to use a lip liner especially when you are wearing dark lip color. Hope 
you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon. Take care.